Okay, hey Deb, Dana here, and welcome to Searching For. This is a continuation of the Aqua Robo, and the lights, the light on the charger is now turned green, so now we know the Robo should be fully, fully charged. Now, what I'm doing. Now I'm going to plug that. The light's still green, which means Robo is charged. Now I'll pop this the plug out. And the light is still green. <laughs> Don't forget to put your cap back on, okay? Make sure everything's sealed. Okay, with that said, now what you're looking at is all my stuff that I was building when I was putting everything together for my own. Uh, hooker system So now what we're going to do is we got to hook up The regulator, okay, but I'm not using that regulator. I'm using my full face in this case, I'm using my ocean reef system and When I was building my other one, I was building quick disconnects so here's this one here, and it's got it's got the filter that I built into it, and here's the one that they built into theirs. So what we got to do is we got to be able to, we got to convert this onto this, which would be the same thing as taking the the um, regulator cord I just had here, um, which had my system that I got when I ordered the hundred feet of hose. So I have a hundred feet. Of, I have a hundred feet of hose, and it just happens to have. This is what my problem was. I was trying to get a connect a, a female connector for this. Well, this just happens to come with the exact same male. Well, guess what? If I want to go 100 feet, all I got to do is plug it in like so. And now I have 100 feet of hose. So we're going to go back to using there. Hi, Eric. I know you're watching this. <laughs> so anyway, um, this, is, uh, this is theirs. And what I got to do is I got to hook my quick disconnect hose which in this case I'm going to use for this one here which was a bat was a backup regulator for me and I'm going to go ahead and put my quick disconnect on here and then that will screw into their air the fil it's filter I just I don't just say it's filter the filter on here and there we go. Now I could add a quick disconnect on here. So now you just be able to use quick disconnect um, at any time. Is this I need a I need a female or a male that'll go in here. So with that said, I may do that eventually, but right now we're just gonna go ahead with this here. And this will be connecting to the my back the back thing here. So we're gonna get the tension on that. That's good. Now what I'm gonna do is because this one is mine, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off of here. For now. Because I'm not going to use their. Um, well, this is what I could do. I could have just done that. Just took it off of the filter here. Yeah. So I take my filter. Well, I'm just. I'm going to show you the filter. Oh, on there. I'll just take this off.
So we'll go ahead and swap these out real quick. And Eric, if you're watching, here's my here's my Y setup. This one goes to BC. This one going to dry suit. And this one, uh, no, where did I have that? That's right. This was going. This was going dry. Uh, BC, this was going dry suit, and this is going to the regulator. And this is my quick disconnect for that system. I don't know whether the 519 has got enough air to run all the system. I don't see why it won't, because I only use about 18 uh, pounds, or I think it's right around 39 liters a minute. Consumption. So I don't know that, that that might be another. I'll do another video on that just to see if you know that works. <coughs> <coughs> about that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put my quick disconnect on here. Hmm. I feel like tighten down. I don't want to. Awesome. Yeah, there it is. All right. <clears throat> Just didn't feel like it. Locked down. Good enough. Because these have got these have got seals that lock down inside that. Alright, so we'll do that. Tighten it down. Hmm. Wait a minute. That doesn't. Not these. Okay. That squares. That squares off in there. Push these off into that. Hmm. All right, all right. Why don't you push this off a little bit? Hmm. I didn't check on that. Sealing in there. It may not be. All right, we'll tighten it down. Okay, that's good. So now we have quick disconnect on the on the main hose, and then go like so, and there we are. We now have. Back here, we have your end, your orange hook, plug that in there, make sure you turn your, turn that locking device, double check, make sure that won't come off, this on here also has a locking device, spin that forward and lock it, okay, so now we have, now we have 30 feet, of air connected to my mask so there we are there's a quick quick hookup of my mask to this system if you're just using a regular right uh, just using the regular regulator that they came with it's the same same procedure you're just hooking it to a non quick disconnect system and there's your regulator that you put in your mouth so it takes care of that. Um, I go my hundred hundred foot. I got just happens that Eric, you're the uh, 
519 has got the same hookup as that. So I just got to add, I'm going to add a quick disconnect to that hose there, and it'll give me 100, 100 feet. So here we go. All right, so I guess the next video you'll see me is uh, the live test of the Aqua Robo. 519 and we will catch you on the next searching for and this was the charging and hookup of the aqua robo 519 surface air unit it is good for one diver to 30 feet.